the New York Jets were unable to get it done against their interdivisional rival, the New England Patriots, dropping this one 22-17. The Jets' defense was incredibly strong today, holding the Patriots' offense to five field goals and just one touchdown. The blame in this game can definitely not be put on the defense. Time after time, the Jets turned the ball over, but the special teams unit did not perform. The offense turned the ball over far too many times. Zach Wilson ended the day with three interceptions. His final line on the day was 20 for 41 with 346 yards, two touchdowns, and three interceptions. Here's what Wilson had to say about his play. I mean, we're thinking about Buffalo now. That's, uh, that's ultimate goal, but I mean, the divisional games are always big, and so this one hurts, especially for me because of the, you know, the plays that I had that I want back, of course. Uh, but it's not that we're eyeing these guys in the schedule, it's just, you know, we're going to play them again as part of our division. So, you know, on Buffalo, how can we make these corrections? And we've got a great team coming up this week. Rookie wide receiver Garrett Wilson was incredibly productive today with six receptions for 115 yards. The only other notable player on the Jets' offense was tight end Tyler Conklin, who had six receptions for 79 yards and two touchdowns. After losing rookie running back sensation Brees Hall to a season-ending ACL injury, the New York Jets traded for Jacksonville Jaguars running back James Robinson for a conditional six-round pick. The run game was very lackluster today, only going for 51 yards, with only 17 of those yards coming from Robinson. The Patriots got very lucky with their field position, but the Jets were able to hold him out of the end zone and keep him to five field goals. The front seven was able to get to Mac Jones repeatedly today, sacking him six times to go along with eight quarterback hits. They also had 13 tackles for loss. They were able to pick off Mac Jones and had a pick six called back by a very questionable roughing the passer call that ended up being a 10-point swing. Here's what John Franklin Meyer had to say about the controversial call. I mean, it, it's the, I mean, it's the hand we're dealt, you know. I mean, that is what it is, you know. Something that we gotta uh, deal with, something we gotta, you know, just play. You know, it is what it is. So, you know, as a player, I can't slow down. You know, um, I'm not gonna, you know, not, I mean, you know, I have to make plays. You know. Um, that's my job, you know, and that's their job to call those fouls if they think that's what it is. So, you know, they do their job. Once again, rookie cornerback Sauce Gardner was phenomenal in coverage today, and Michael Carter II was the one that walked away with the pick. Here's what Carter had to say about the pick being called back. Uh, I mean, did it, did it change, like, the momentum? I mean, probably. Um, but as far as, like, our mentality, I mean, our mentality is, you know, you give us an inch and we'll defend it. Um, so as far as, like, it affecting our mentality of how we play as a defense, I don't think it really did that much. We just had to go, up, go back out there and stop them again, you know what I'm saying? So The Jets now sit at 5-3 and three and very much control their own destiny. They will be home again next week against the AFC East leading and AFC leading Buffalo Bills. The WFUV Sports... I'm Dana Scott.